Right then, in this video, I'm gonna have a go at fitting these doors here. They are still security doors, and I'm not quite sure whether I'm gonna be able to do it myself, but I'm gonna try. This is actually the access to the plant room, even though it's at the roadside, like the front of the house, if you like. It would have made sense to, for that to be the front door, but that's the front door over there. <laughs> you see on the floor here, there's gonna be a wall that runs all the way across there. These are the doors. They're not quite big enough. So this opening, I just said to do it at 1400. It's just less than that, it's 1395. The doors that I got, they come in certain sizes. So these are 1295. I was gonna like build the walls out a bit more, like with block work. Then I was just gonna do it with wood. And then I realized that you could get these extra expanding channels. But even then, it's not quite wide enough. I need to pack out the side of these first. I'm going to cut down some concrete board and just attach it down the edges. Then I'll fix the seal down and just like, I'm just going to muddle my way through and see if I can figure it out. Okay, these are packed out. I've used a hybrid sealing adhesive and a couple of screws. So this is how the channel's gonna sit on. I'm gonna drop it back 10 mil into the cavity. Trouble is, because of the way that it's shaped, if you look, see that? So what I'm gonna have to do is it will hold itself against the front, but then it will wanna twist roll over so i'll have to pack that back bit these are the lugs you just wind them out and then it pushes against the frame i've i've actually got two sets because i bought two sets by mistake because i didn't think i had one uh, these are the fixings it's come with i did ask for the fixing kit i'm not sure whether i'm going to use them or not this is the seal i got provided so no upstand at the back that's a pain in the ass hey um so there's going to be a risk of water going through so i'm going to have to smash a load of silicon on this when i put the actual frame on but you, can you see that cut out just there so if i put it too far back in the cavity then i've got no support on this edge thing is there's no point in sinking it back into the cavity because there's no thermal break on this whatsoever the u values they're not quite up to scratch but i just figured because it's a concealed room it won't really matter and push comes to shove I'll just put a load of um, insulation on that wall. Just need to cut this to size. Uh, should I use the chop saw, mite saw? It's got a wood bit on it. Uh, I really need like some kind of like multi-blade. I don't know whether it's gonna go through this. I'm just gonna cut the end off and try it. This might be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Probably going to need a new blade, but that blade's been in there for what, six years or something. So I need a new one anyway. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, it's too short. It's butt up against that end, and then look, <laughs> that's that's like 20 mil. What happened? I mean, you can see here, that, that's where I started cutting, but it's just like moved over. I just totally mashed that up and I absolutely mashed it up. I mean, as it happens, get rid of that shit. These frogs are not filled anyway, and these bricks actually lean back. So I can't fit the seal today. I need to cut this DPM out of the way, fill them frogs and just like level it up. I suppose I'll have a look on, on the... Um, internet and see if i can pick up my new seal tomorrow <laughs> and maybe i'll get a new blade like a, a metal cutting blade for this and a new blade for wood what a bloody disaster what a moron
Right, I've had a look on the internet. There are no blades in a local vicinity. I would need to order one and probably wait a couple of days. And also a new seal is gonna probably cost close to 100 quid and I'll also have to wait for that. So, in view of that and my hopes and dreams of getting this door fitted by the end of tomorrow, about this time, I'm just gonna go with this one. I've put the end caps on, they're black, don't know why. That's butted up against there. This one, here is the gap. Now, if I put another one of these on, like there, then the gap that's left is three mil, which is reasonable. So I'm just gonna whack another one of these on and the door will still fit because my expanding things yeah, you'll see. Adapt and overcome, eh? <laughs> or just bodge. All sorted. Hopefully that will do. I just need to fill these frogs in now and uh, sort out them not being level. Um, I'll, ju I'll just try to have a look at the top and bottom. I don't know which side is the top, which side's the bottom. It doesn't, doesn't tell you, it's not labelled. And then the actual instructions that they've got, it's just all writing. There's no pictures whatsoever. So I'm gonna have to watch the videos again. Looks like they couldn't be asked when they got to this bit. Look how much of that comes off. I'll mix that up by hand, just whack it in. So I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, morning. Uh, I've been staring at this for the past half hour or so trying to figure out if I'm even going to be able to do it and what the bloody hell's going on. I've filled my frogs in and I'm going for four packers. I was just going to go one in the middle, but it just didn't feel right to me. So I'm doing this. I have to go 10 mil packers on the bottom because I need to make up the height difference. So I just filled it in and then where I put the packers, I flatten it off. So that's pretty much level. What the bloody hell's happened in? Oh, there. There you go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I figured out this is the bottom section. Now, not only does the seal not have an upstand, this has only got that little tiny bit. So that'd be fun. And... I need to stick this to that, but I need to assemble the whole frame first, lift it up and try and get it in there. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it because it's really heavy and you kind of need two people, but I'm going to try and do it from the top. So I'll get up on a ladder and just shift it in. Several hours later, I'm ready to progress. I keep on getting distracted. There's a couple of things that I needed to work out and I just kept on walking off and like looking on the phone and doing stuff. But, um, I'm pretty much ready. The seal's in, it's all level. To do that, I center punched it, drilled a six mil hole through the actual aluminium. Then I done a quick countersink, but not fully. SDS drill, masonry bit all the way through, 120 mil deep. And then I popped in the actual concrete screws, which are 100 mil. The reason why I could leave these proud is because underneath this threshold, there's a void. So that'll be fine. I just changed my packers underneath. I couldn't do 10 mil, otherwise I wouldn't have got everything in. Over that side now is three mil, and then that is six mil, so that's only three mil off. But this one up here. How level would you like your lintel, sir? Not level at all. Tolerance of something this wide, I think is five mil off, uh, but this is like nine mil, so. That's gonna give me a little bit of aggro. Got my frame laid out, I just need to clip it all together. Then I need to put on the sides and the top, but I need to cut the top and I need to trim down the sides. I'm gonna use an angle grinder and hopefully that'll go better than yesterday. I just need to slot these in somehow. How's it go? See that tab there? I need to bend that that way. Um, I guess started with a screwdriver. I'm using this. That works. 
uh, they made it look easy in, in the studio on their video. Let me just bend it over a little bit. Oh, you fucker. Right, I've measured it twice this time. Maybe three times. Bit more head scratching. These um, extension sides, they're the same length of the actual doors. And then this, uh, I've got an extra 25 mil there. And then this is supposed to be another 25 mil, i.e. this bit here. And then that slides over the top. And then you cut these side channels according to how high you want this. Now, according to their instructions, you just cut these down by 25 mil. That would imply that this is gonna sit directly on here. But this bit here is only 20 mil, it's not, it's not 25. So they're giving the wrong instructions there. Never trust the manufacturer. <laughs> so this one I need to cut at the top so it doesn't sit uh, too low down. I, I want it a little way up to make up the difference up here. So I'm taking eight mil off that one, five mil off that one, and then that top bit will sit slightly higher on that side to make up for it. Look at that bitch, I've burnt the paint away. <laughs> Let's do this. That's the wrong colour, eh? I just pulled the other one out. They haven't sprayed this one very well. It's like mottled. I got white doors because it was cheaper. <laughs> and uh, I thought, right, if, if I put them in and I don't really like them, then I can always spray them. What do you reckon? I mean, they're black. This, this section here is gonna be rendered and then painted white. So should I leave them white or not? I like this design, so these, you can wind them out and then that will force itself up against the edge. And it will also force these channels out. I've been taking ages doing this. I think maybe because I'm a little bit scared that I don't think it's gonna go very well. Uh, I've just changed the seal a little tiny bit. Because there was no upstand on the back, I thought it might be best if I just slightly tip it that way. So that there's the bubble. And that will make sure that any water that gets in is more likely to go that way than this way. Let's talk insulation. Uh, I think the doors have got rock wall in them and the frames, these ones as well, just from the bottom, that back bit there, that's got rock wall in as well. There's nothing in there and around the frame, if you look, but in the corners, that's got nothing in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes through the back, through this, and put spray foam in. I'll do the same there. This bit here, I think, because it's raised slightly, I'm just going to use my last bit of expanding foam tape on this roll. The U-value on these ones, I think they're 2.1 or 2.2, whereas I'm supposed to be hitting 1.6. I mean, does the plant room need to be that well insulated? Right then, here's the plan. Slide the sides on. Bit of tape, stop it slipping. Expanding foam tape. Pop the top on. Double check the height. Try and lift it up. Mm. Come on. Oh. Question your sanity on whether you're going to be able to lift this. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. Come up with a new plan.
I'm going to make a massive assumption and assume that's going to work. So it's got silicon with it. This is what you're supposed to use on the threshold. Uh, so I'm going to smash a load in the corner. About do the same the other side. Loads down here. I've got to use it, otherwise it'd be a waste. It's got to work, eh? It's got to work. Looks like that's dropped. Success! Aha! I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. That's the first challenge. Uh, I, obviously, I, need to, I still need to sort it out, but I'm not sure I'm going to get the doors in. Oh, shall I just stop and have a beer now? I'll tell you what I should have done, though. Um, before sliding these on, maybe I should have silicon dinner. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these hinges off, lever that out, and just put a load of silicon down there. Right, I'm just trying to do these because I need to square the frame in like that. Um, but I'm having trouble because I'm trying to move it and then I had to tap it and then, because it was out of level. And now it's even more out of level because the bottom was just moving along with the top. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of screws into the sill just to hold it in place and then I can move the whole thing and get it all job done. Just been losing my mind trying to sort this bloody mess out. Putting the levels on the side and that one was that way and that one was that way, but this one was more. So I was trying to get that one over there, but that was going out more. And then after about an hour, <laughs> I figured out it's basically bowed in the middle here. So these nuts, <laughs> You see these, so I've done the top ones tight and then I've loosened these off a little bit. So when I put the fixings in, it should pull this mid section in and the same that side. I bought the fixing kit with this, so they gave me a drill bit. These are normal like standard frame fixings. I'm not using concrete screws on this um, and I need to put that little washer on and that will go in the end of the bolts. Uh, it's a good job I've got these because this fix in just here is pretty much in line with this here. If that was a concrete screw, it wouldn't hold, but one of these will. Because I've got that screw down the bottom and fixed it to the sill, uh, I would normally go up the top, but I'm gonna go for this one here because this bar's in the way. Hopefully it won't move. It gave me a bent drill bit. Fucking snapped. Absolute fucking prick. <sighs> That's the problem with these. I've had this done before. This has happened before. What am I meant to fucking do about that then? Motherfucker. I'm not sure the clutch works on this. In bollocks. Well, I'm just going to smash the rest in. Well, I've put a few in, but I just don't trust it. So I've, I've got one here. I've done one there, I've done that one there, and then that one was the one that snapped. I wanted to go screw fix and get some proper concrete screws, but it's closed now because it's gone eight o'clock. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um, these uh, frame fixings, they are eight by 120. I've got bigger frame fixings that are 10 by 135 that I could possibly use, but I just don't like the frame fixings. They've snapped on me before. I just don't trust them. I don't want to use them. 
I'm going to try and get some concrete screws tomorrow and just do the rest. Um, but then, then I'm leaving it there because the, in the afternoon I need to go to London and then the weekend I'm away. So this is, I'm going to park this and come back to it. I'm going to tidy up and then I'm going to have a drink. Right, I have to quickly do this before I'm off to London. I've got my frame fixings. 120 mil long these particular ones are they are seven and a half mil wide you need to drill a six mil masonry hole this is how much easier it is and because that in there it's got the allen key bit we need to put the washer on like that impact driver torx bit Done. Easy. No snapping. The only thing that can happen with them is sometimes if you do it up too much, it will strip like what's inside. But that's not really an issue because you can just make the hole bigger and or you can just pull it out and get a longer one if you can. Or you make the hole slightly bigger, you get one of these frame fixing raw plugs, cut that end off dig it in and then just just use one of them but but if you use a frame fixing and it snaps and that bit's left in there and that bit's left in there how do you deal with that how do you i'm gonna tell me how you would deal with this i've got an idea i might try it i don't know whether it's gonna work though back from holiday time to get these doors in then i blocked it up whilst i was away so these pigeons can't push their bloody ways in. Right, so I'm gonna seal the frame extension against the frame. I won't be doing the outside just yet because I need some white 215 LM. I haven't got any in that in white, just black. So I'm gonna wedge a packer in between the extension and the frame. That opens up that gap there and then I'll slide the packer down as I do some sealant. Otherwise, it's too tight and it won't have any sealant in between and there'll be a chance for water to get behind there and just get stuck down here and then because it's still, eventually it will just rust out. I'm just going to have to use Pseudo Fix or High Tack, super strong. It's a hybrid polymer. I don't think it's low modulus, um, but it's obviously a bit more sticky. This is white. This is the only stuff that I've got, so that's what I'm using. I'm all sealed up. Hinges are back on. Time to get these doors on. They are pretty bloody heavy. Uh, I need to build some kind of platform here first. So I'm gonna get these channel drains out of the way. Uh, I can't actually use these. I've got to come up with another plan. So I'm just gonna put some bricks down and lay some ply down and then uh, figure out what I'm gonna do from there. I've tried to pick it up. I reckon that's about 30 kilograms. And then the, the actual main door that's probably about 60 so i wouldn't be able to manage that by myself necessarily i'm going to go for the passive leaf first the small one i'll attempt that by myself i think i should be able to lift it i've packed up down the bottom i've got some air bags to adjust it a little bit uh, i'm just going to need to like pump it hold it and then get the screws in there and i think it should be manageable and then for the big door I wanted to use my glass lifter, it would lift them panels, but because it's always constantly at an angle one way or another to support itself, it's never vertically upright. So the only other way I can think of doing it is to use my genie lift. <laughs> oh, you're a funny poor little office. You're helping. You pump it. Off a pump it. <laughs> no, no, don't bite it. You pump it. You pump it. <laughs> oh, no, don't pull it. 
Pump it. Right, let's check this one. Hmm. I mean, it looks like you have to force it. I just that doesn't <sighs> trust that to happen. Chance is that it just so happens that where the locking mechanism goes is bang where a bloody screw is that I put in the sill. You remember I said I don't really need to do it flush because it's under there, and now that won't lock because this is too long. Sorted. Right, now, because that method worked relatively well, I'm going to try and lift this door out here. I should be able to do it. I could lift that much, but it's just a bit awkward that it's big. And then we're going to go for the same thing. Yeah? I think what I really need is like one of them hooks. These don't come as, yeah, it does, doesn't come on this drill. I need a new drill anyway, like this one's fucked, but I need a tool company to sponsor me, don't I, really? Cool. Oh, shit. Oh, it's too high already. Right, I'm just going to try this out before I put the handle on. In which case we need a spindle. That doesn't go there. That'll work, yeah. Ooh. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so you close the door, it hits on the bottom down there. Uh, it looks like it's going to miss up there. I mean, it's close. That's probably a mil too big. Right, so what I'm going to try, I'm going to take these fixings out and then adjust the bolt. The issue being, I'm not sure how much this is going to adjust because I fitted the frame ages ago, <laughs> like last week. So if I adjust that, I'm not sure how far, how is that going to go that way? It's not, is it? I don't, let's just try. I mean, how am I meant to adjust it if the fucking raw plug is in there? No, it still, it still hits. Uh, what what am I meant to do? Fucking hell. Smash it. So smash it with the hammer. So it, it must have just been where I was... You know them tabs that are bent over at the bottom? It just must be like just a millimetre too tight. I've just done it too tight at the bottom. But how can I, I can't fix that. How can I fix that? I don't know what to do. Right, what the fuck? Absolutely what the fuck? This is just like beyond a joke now. Right, I'll show you what I done. So I absolutely smashed the fuck out of this and this little bit bent here. So I've managed to move that to almost three mil. So that meant the bottom fit 
perfect. The top was just too close now, so I need to bash out that, and it's a bit more <sighs> holdy in type thing. I've I had to undo these, so that one now that one's almost loose. I've been bashing the fuck out of this one, and then I've been bashing the fuck out of this one, and that's not happening. I've bent it slightly. Um, so I was getting there and I thought, right, I just need to pull this in. So I can't do it with the um, concrete screws. So I'll use the big uh, frame anchors, the 10 by 135, in which case I had to drill a 10 mil hole through there. But the Allen key bits in there, they're too small. So if I were to use the other set that I bought, They've got a wider hole, they fit through. So I thought I'd drill it out with a metal drill bit, which I've done now, I've got it to 10 mil, and then the masonry bit is slightly wider at the end and it's almost like 11 mil. So I started trying to make the hole bigger. And that's what's fucking happened. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> this just, it's just this frame. It's too small. It's too small for the doors. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, and I, I bought this like fucking two years ago or something stupid. I just want to rip it out and just fucking put something else in there. But I, I, I just, I don't know what to do now. How am I meant to get that fucking drill bit out? <laughs> I was just going to give up. I was just going to give up. I've had enough.